So a few weeks back, I made a video exposing how Boardsy, Yo. a popular mouse review YouTuber, got scammed out of $120 for buying a Bloody A bedless on eBay. New and unsealed, this definitely looks very new and unsealed. I paid $120 for this. Shortly after that video was released, Boardsy actually commented on the video and reached out to me asking me if I could teach him how to drag click. And of course, I said yes. As we all know, Boardsy has an insane mouse collection. We actually tested out various different mice that he had, and we learned that some of his mice that were previously not known to be drag clicking mice can actually drag click insane. Before I start the video, I would like to make a quick big announcement, and that is that I made a second channel called Helix Shorts. I upload there daily. Make sure to subscribe to my second channel when we reach a thousand subscribers. Then I'll pick five of you to get a shout out randomly. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the video. And hey, what's up, Boardsy? Yo. Guess what? I can finally what's teach up? you how to drag click now. I'm so excited to learn how to drag click. Gotcha. We're going to get at least 40 CPS for this video, guaranteed. Yeah, do you have your A bed list with you? Yes, indeed. I have a very like strange way of drag clicking. Like I choose like a I choose like a super high angle of drag click. Rather than like going like this, I like to do this. It's easier. Not sure how I'm doing so far. What CPS are you getting? Only around 15. Not good enough. Is your finger like slipping or like is your mouse dry? Uh, oh yeah, I should dry out my mouse with a, the microfiber cloth. Let's yes. see, maybe my fingers are sweaty. Okay. Pause it right there. This is an actual insane amount of sweat coming from Boardsy's hands. When you dry click on the A70 uh, and the A bedless, I mean, the way, the, what you want to do is, what's happening with your drag clicks? Is it, are you drag clicking all the way down the switch or are you drag clicking and then it cuts off? I th it cuts off, yeah. Okay, so uh, if you know how like, like what is it? What do you call it? Leverage, I guess. There's like a the switch is like the fulcrum. So as you go uh, farther and farther down the switch, the uh, the more the same. If you apply the same pressure still, it applies more pressure to the switch. Does that make kind of sense? I have a question for you. This is a very serious one. Yes. So, would you rather main the bloody A70 on every single game, or would you rather play Minecraft and be able to use any mouse? Oof, probably Minecraft. I really don't like the yes! bloody A70. Yes! Yes! Finally converted me. The lightest mouse is the carbon fiber mouse. True. Imagine try clicking on that. Actually, wait. Let's see. I have it right here. Lightest mouse in the world. All right, let's see it. Let's see, can it drag click? It can. What? Let's see, does it register? No way, no way. If this thing can register, just spend eight hundred dollars on this mouse, and you'll be able something to drag like click. Four hundred bucks, not some like. Okay, let's see. Oh, dude, I'm getting seventeen CPS. What? 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 No way, no way. <laughs> I'm actually getting. I've got no way, I'm dude. Fucking short tracking on the M1K. That's so funny. That's funny. I actually had no idea that these switches would be able to. Oh my gosh, dude, make a video on this. You should. Yeah, world's lightest mouse ever. Also the best mouse for Minecraft. My God, what can't this do? Would you like to know why the A70 is so popular? Tell me. The reason why the A70 is so popular is there's this like sub category of Minecraft where people like to do like high CPS games. They like to do long block extensions, block clutches, MLG rush, reducing. So all those require super high amounts of CPS. The reason why the A70 is so good is that it has super long switches, which means you can get super high CPS for a long duration of time. That is very useful because when you're doing like a 20 block long uh, block clutch, you need to have consistent drag click throughout that entire block clutch. Yeah, I never even knew that there were situations where having like over 20 CPS was going to be necessary. Most of the time, it's actually not. In traditional PvP, it's completely useless. Like drag clicking is almost useless in most things in Minecraft. But if you're talking about like specific game modes where you try to cancel out each other's knockback through reducing, which is called reducing, that is when it's useful. 
some crazy stuff. I've never been into Minecraft myself. Uh, do you uh, play on Hypixel? What What is your game? No, no, like, I, I never. I've played Minecraft maybe twice in my life, and I went on Rockspot. If you know what that server is, I've literally never played PvP. Dang! Drag clicking noob. Holy crap! You actually don't play Minecraft. That's crazy. No, I've never touched Minecraft. <laughs> crazy. Do you have your G Pro with you, right? Yes, I do have my G Pro. G Pro Super Light. It's yes. probably the best mouse out there right now. It's really expensive, coming in at $150, but I think overall, if you buy it, you'll love it. Thanks everyone for sticking around this far. It was a really, really fun collab with Boardsy, and you can subscribe to my second channel. I do daily uploads there every day, and my main channel if you'd like to help me out the most. We will be doing the G Pro Super Light drag clicking mod very soon, so stick around for that. I'll see you in the next vid.